an uncommon sport. Oh, nice one, Dad! That fits Dashiell Dunn perfectly. So this past summer I started to play polo and this is my first ever season playing. I have always been horseback riding so I've been riding horses my whole life but I've never done the polo aspect. I didn't even really know if there's a polo club that was in San Diego. The long search for a polo team has led him to Lakeside Polo. Dash is turning on the ball. Although he knows the journey is only beginning. I, I definitely know there is a lot of risk involved with polo but I love it so nothing's going to stop me from not playing. Polo is not the only outside activity that Dashiell takes part in. I'm real excited to see what it turns out to look like and have it be 360. Acting, and not just in the theater. I thought an audition was just like the craziest thing, but then I started to learn after audition after audition that I kind of learned that there's a lot of people competing for these tiny little roles. So once I got into the more of the serious stuff, I was like, this is like a big deal, like I need to take it seriously. In just under two years, Dashiell has created a spotlight for himself. A 360 film, the My Brother's Keeper with PBS, a few more little short films. One of them actually went to Sundance Film Festival. Just a few other commercials, like some background work on TV shows. And the list goes on. But he didn't stop there. Catching his attention, Dowsel broadened his horizons and joined CHS TV. Usually working on set, it's just the director and he's calling the shots, but with CHS TV, there's so many kids with so many smart minds of what they want to do for the different shots, so I got to experiment and try in a big group setting, so it was super fun. Being on camera was no stranger to him. Let's get this show started. I'm Dashiell Dunn. But the news world was one that he was not used to. Every day I try to like learn a different thing, like learn the cameras or do different teleprompters. Like there's just so many things to learn and so I really am enjoying it every single day. And with everything he does, it can all be a bit overwhelming. <laughs> it's definitely been a lot and definitely polo has been adding to that. I practice Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays with when I have acting class and auditions and then just regular schoolwork. So it definitely has gotten a lot, but I've kind of learned to adjust, and my mom has definitely been right there like to help me get through my schedule. With his mom being his main supporter, she is there for everything. Oh, oh, yes, turn it around. And this time, it's for something bigger. I got diagnosed with cyclical vomiting syndrome about a year ago, and I think I've had it ever since I was 10. And what it is, it's um, a syndrome that whenever it really doesn't have a pattern, it can just come up, and very few kids have it, it's really rare. Since Dashiell's diagnosis, he has found no known cure, and with a small percentage of people that are diagnosed, it's unlikely to find a cure soon. When I'm in high anxiety or really stressful situation, I come down with the cyclical vomiting, which is where I start, it always starts the same, it's kind of like a pattern, different episodes start up. And with these episodes happening at any time, it is hard for him to control what happens next. Now that we've kind of figured out my triggers, we try to prepare for it. So whenever I'm about to fly somewhere new, like when I was filming in Virginia for the PBS thing, on the way home, I got sick because I kind of was stressed because I was missing school. Not only does it put a hinge in his career, but it takes a physical toll on his body as well. Well, for throwing up for like three days, I always lose like 10 to 15 pounds, sometimes less. Hopefully, I wish that it was less. Just getting the IV fluid really hydrates you and gets you back out there and then just slowly eating food and stuff. Through it all, he never fails to smile. Whether it's looking forward to his next polo match, acting gig, Alexa, search for romance, and seeing his classmates, that's what keeps him going. I try to look forward to those three months where I'm not going to be sick and just trying to see what's going to be next and moving forward and not trying to let it affect me and always just keeping a smile and doing what I love. And hopefully those opportunities will continue to grow. We'll see you on the red carpet, Dashiell. For CHS TV with Riley Fells. Thank you for the opportunity. I hope you have a great day. I'm Colette Moorhead.